Hey, you, Joaquin here. What is space? Well, is it even real? Yeah, but if you go outside at night and look up at the sky, you will see black voidness and a big or small white circle. That white circle is called the moon and it has captured the attention of mankind for centuries and Todd D. Miller, the director of the 2019 documentary film titled Apollo 11. Now, to give you a synopsis of this documentary film, it's about Apollo 11, the mission itself. From the day of its launch to the three men setting foot on the moon and back to Earth, this documentary film uses details and excellent cinematography with fantastic editing to enthrall the audience's imagination and attention. This film has been critically rated and received an 8.2 out of 10 on IMDb. But despite this, there's more to this film we can get into. You see, Todd D. Miller made this film for a reason, for a purpose. The documentary film has an educational and entertaining appeal to different audiences type, from history buffs, sci-fi nerds, and even the common folk. But we'll get back to them later. Right now, we need to figure out the purpose of this film, and it is to brainwash you. <laughs> now, but the purpose is to educate you on the Apollo 11 mission itself, from the day of its launch to the return of the astronauts. And the film does an incredible job at doing that. It uses real audio recordings during the mission, actors acting as the workers at ground control, and even real footage of the astronauts TV. It also has an entertaining purpose. Each scene of the film is made of a steady pace while key moments in the film, such as the moon landing or astronauts returning to Earth, feels prolonged. But it is done in such a way that it maximizes the intensity and suspense the audience will feel. Speaking of the audience, this film pretty much attracts everyone. History buffs, sci-fi nerds, and the average folk will always get something enjoyable from the film. Let's start with the history buffs. This movie is packed full of historical accuracy. It is, after all, a documentary. Each crucial detail of the film, from how the launch pad was set up to how people felt about the mission, is historically correct. As mentioned before, the film uses real footage and audio recordings throughout the film, furthering the idea of historical accuracy. Next is the sci-fi nerds. This is a bit of a stretch, but hear me out. The technology shown in the spaceship and mission control is fascinating and inspires some of the tech seen in the series such as Star Trek. Finally, this film does attract the average person. Even if they are not interested in space, the excellent cinematography, the soundtracks used in a film, the realistic CGI, and the acting will certainly make the average viewer feel intense and entertained. This film was released on the big screen so it is certainly accessible to everyone and it is currently streaming on Netflix and Hulu. This goes without saying, but the documentary film has a serious tone. It is, after all, a documentary. But there is a reason for why. Todd wanted the audience to feel as if they existed during the Apollo 11 mission, which is why there is so much intensity and suspense throughout the film. During the mission, if a single mistake was made, it would have jeopardized everything and could mean the death of the Apollo 11 crew. With this in mind, Todd made sure that everything felt serious and important through the buildup of important events, such as the lunar landing and the crescendo of background music. Much like every story, it has a theme, but sometimes the theme can be directly given to the audience or it is subtle. In the documentary film's case, it is subtle, but if you analyze it deeply enough, you'll find a theme. When all the members of Apollo 11 were on the lunar surface, the president at the time, Richard Nixon, called them while they were on the moon and gave a speech. Richard Nixon congratulated the men and told everyone in the world that due to the progress of everyone throughout the world's history, we were able to put men on the moon and how that makes us all equal. At the end of the film, the infamous JFK speech about putting men on the moon at the end of the decade is played. And in the speech, JFK talks about the dedication and hard work Americans will put into putting man on the moon by the end of the decade. It was thought to be impossible to put a man on the moon by the end of 1969, but we did it anyway because 1. We are Americans, and 2. With unification and dedication, we can make the impossible possible, which is the theme of this movie. Now, let's talk about English stuff, because I don't know how to transition into rhetorical fallacies and rhetorical devices. There is a rhetorical fallacy present in this documentary film. As the Apollo 11 spaceship was about to land on the moon's surface, a warning light started blinking. Everyone started panicking and believed that, at this crucial moment, everything was ruined. Thankfully, the warning light was an error and fixed immediately, but this is an example of a slippery slope. Everyone thought that due to this one blinking light, everything was ruined. Rolling back a couple scenes before the lunar landing, though, the, and Neil Armstrong gave a detailed imagery of Earth from the ship's window. 
He states, we can clearly see the western coast of North America, the United States, the San Joaquin Valley, the High Sierras, Baja California, and Mexico, and so forth and so on. Obviously, Neil Armstrong gave a detailed imagery to ground control, but it also serves as imagery to the viewer, so as to feel as if they were in the cabin of the ship themselves. Two words repeated over and over throughout the film is Roger and over. While this is a stretch, we can't ignore that this is repetition that builds intensity. For example, during the moon landing, there was a constant communication between the Apollo 11 crew and ground control, and every time they spoke, it ended with Roger and over. And this is just an example, Roger and over were used extensively through the mission. This helps Todd's job in making the audience feel as if they were in a mission and easier since the repetition of the two words is used throughout the documentary film. One thing I forgot to mention is how the cinematography helps boost the theme that through dedication, cooperation, and unification, we can make the impossible possible. You will be mainly seeing two groups of people throughout the film. The people at ground control and the Apollo 11 crew. Whenever the two are communicating to each other, the camera will alternate between the view of the ground control and the view of Apollo 11. This is the show that the two are communicating and working together towards a goal, bringing the men to the moon, having them land, and return back to Earth. Unfortunately, that is all I have to share. Tune in next time when I discuss why the Earth is flat and why we faked the moon landing. See ya.